Greetings and welcome people. I've seen quite a few vlogs recently about people doing the first year challenge. And the one thing they keep mentioning that is that they're doing this challenge because it's been listed on the challenge accepted Facebook page, I think it is. Now that does put me in a bit of a spot for doing these challenges because at the moment I don't do Facebook. I do still have a an account on Facebook from my pre-moto blogging days. It's just my personal account, but I don't use it anymore. But what I think I might do is. set myself up a motor blogging Facebook account and set up and go on to uh, using that just for motor blogging. I may I may have said that before but uh, just haven't got round to it yet. So what I'm going to try and do on my little run out today oh chili fiesta is to see what my my machine will do. But uh, at the, on the rev limiter in first gear. Of course, it's not something I would do lightly because this machine is now just over 25 years old, or at least 25 years since it was first registered. It has nearly 63,000 miles on the clock, and while I try to look after it, Yes, I do call my bike it, not he or she, because it's a motorbike, not a person. Um, even though I have named it Babe. <coughs> um, so yes, given the fact that it's uh, just over 25 years old, 63,000 miles on the clock, um, still runs fairly well, but I don't know, I, I probably couldn't claim that it's still uh, as it would have been when it first came out of the factory, obviously not, there's going to be wear and tear, etc. But, we will see. I just hope it doesn't go bang when I uh, wind it wide open in first. Now, of course, this bike is a 1200cc four-cylinder, but I think most would agree that the engine capacity and configuration is not as important when it comes to top speed, certainly in the lower gears, as are things like gearbox ratios and uh, front and rear sprocket ratios. They're the, one, they're the things that will really set the, um, set the limits on what speed you can get in any given gear. And things like engine capacity and configuration will make a difference on how quickly you get there but, uh, but not the actual speed I mean, I think if, if, if you were to take this gearbox and first uh, front and rear sprockets from this bike put them on another bike with the same size wheels with a different size engine you still get the same, I believe maximum speed in any given gear. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Of course, once you get into the higher gears and you start getting to much higher speeds, things like wind resistance and that start to play a factor, start to play a, a role in the, uh, in the whole thing. But we will find somewhere suitable, probably a dual carriageway where the speed limit is 70 and in here the speed limit is 60 so I don't want to be doing speeds, silly speeds over the current limit and posting them on YouTube. Even 
even if I get onto a dual carriageway or a stretch of road with a 70 limit, it might be the case that I would have to abort the attempt if it gets ridiculously above 70. But let's see how we go. Come on. Taster there. Got up to just over 4,000 RPM at 40 miles an hour. Let's hope that uh, when I try that, it doesn't go bang in a spectacular fashion. That would be a little bit upsetting. I don't want anybody to think that I destroyed my bike for views. There's a nice view down that valley. Right, let's go find a stretch of dual carriageway. Really a bit slidey. Something going on here at Goodwood today. flying around these corners because it just end up going flying off. I hope I haven't got that camera too pointed down too much. <laughs> Probably. Up the 
gravelly, gravelly as well here. Yeah, there does seem to be a fair bit of gravel about. <coughs> Excuse me. the road I rode along <laughs> uh, in the, the Trundle video but from the other direction
Excuse me. Right, it's not long now till we get to the dual carriageway. I mean, some people made the comment, you know, should you do it from a rolling start or should you do it from a stationary start? I, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter. All it is is how fast can your bike go in first gear. So not how quickly can you get up to the rev limiter from stationary or whatever. So I don't think it makes any difference. I hit the rev limiter. I don't think my bike liked that very much at all. Good easy, watch for this car. Good, good. I don't think my bike liked that very much, so I don't think I'm going to try it again. So let's say, let's say it was 60. I think with that I'll, uh, I'll wrap up this possible second vlog of the day. So thank you very much again for taking a look. I'll speak to you again next time. Cheerio for now. Bye.